My father was a gunsmith, and I always knew that was what I wanted to do, too. Making a hint of an idea take shape in wood and steel. I always found that rewarding. And the scent of gun oil and burnt powder? <laughs> that always felt like home to me. From Canada's windswept prairies, to the continent's rolling plain, to the flooded timber and marshlands of the Mississippi Delta, the birds of the north signal the season's change. Their arrival marks the passage of another year and greets the dawn of another season of the hunter. The tributaries and backwaters found on the Atlantic side of the Mississippi River are home to a broad array of waterfowl habitats. These watersheds that drain the eastern half of the North American continent also feed the fires of waterfowl hunting enthusiasts from the northern plains to the Gulf of Mexico. From the slow moving pools of thousands of creeks to the brackish water of coastal bays, wayfaring waterfowl stop and feed, rest and move on. It is here that hunters spread their decoys, find a spot to hide and cast their eyes skyward to await the arrival of birds of the north. I absolutely enjoy having hunters come from all over the country and, and outside of the United States and, and experience that, because that, that is such a thrill. And uh, that's exactly what keeps me getting up every single day at three in the morning and going out every single day in the cold. And. Uh, the day I lose that excitement of seeing those birds just absolutely working those decoys is the day that I think I'm going to just uh, go back to hunting on my own and not, not guide anymore. But uh, I, I don't think that's going to be for a while. I, I just absolutely love it. And uh, the last couple of days, it was a joy being out with some friends, um, getting a chance to shoot these birds and, and, and see them work. And then we, we did a variety. We went up to some bluebills. Um, and same thing. The bluebills have that same kind of pattern about them, how they flock right into those decoys, and just hearing those wings coming at you, it's just exciting. Absolutely thrilling, a thrilling hunt. The abundance of game is incredible. Uh, if you're into the sea ducks or, or the brant. Got birds working here, 10 o'clock, coming right into the decoys. Working in, coming right in here. That's a nice bird. Nice drake. Drake got it right in the decoys. He's working back around the decoys here. He liked it the first time. Nope. Drake coming right in, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Bird on the water. The bird's coming back around right, right behind your boat, Ruben. Drake in the hen. Big flocks coming in from the outside. We got these two coming in here. What do you think, Reuben? That's some good shooting. Putting them down, buddy, right like you said. Yeah. Yep, you're shot. Oh, yeah. No, no. We might get them. Here comes a drake on my side. Here we go. He's coming right at me. Nice. How do you think that, huh? Nice shot, <laughs> no, it's a drake. Get it? That's all right. Good shot, Ruben. That's it, baby. 
Let it go, Ruben. There you go, baby. Last bird, limit out. That was an awesome hunt. Looks like it's gonna be a good bluebell hunt for right now, so. The birds are on the move right after this. Come September, when the first cool winds make their way southward, turning the leaves from green to gold and offering refuge from the summer's heat, our thoughts turn to the sky. Memories of days in the blind come flooding back, and we look to our gear to see that all is at the ready. With decoys painted, blinds mended, gun dogs touched up, and opening day circled in red, we await the times whose memory will carry us through the coming year. It's nice to see a guy who does this for a living still get excited like this. That's when you, when you know it, you're with the right person. You know, it's just good stuff all around, good people. Yeah, you never know. You know, it's that's what I like about hunting. Nothing's a guarantee. If it was a guarantee, it wouldn't be any fun. But you turn around and you tell me when you look at 3,000 bluebills like that, it's not a, it's not at least worth giving it a shot. What we're going to try to do is we got a bunch of bluebills that are just calling us, saying, "Come on over and give us a shot." And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take two boats. There's uh, an island there. We're going to try to hide. Uh, uh, ourselves in the island and put the layout right in front of it and see what happens, you know, uh, every event. And uh, we just saw what's out there, so we, uh, we're going to give it a good opportunity to see if we get some good birds coming to the gun. And I want to get going. Ruben set us up, coming right in. He told us that we got our limits eiders. It didn't take a couple hours. We, he told us he got a, a good spot for some bluebills. We did a little scouting, came out. We saw where they were landing, and, and we got ducks coming in right now. So we're all set up. We've got a whole group, six or eight of them coming in. Here right comes now. a flock. And uh, looks like it's going to be a good bluebill hunt for right now. So Ruben put them on us, put us on them again. Here they are. Here comes a single. I think he's coming. See him, Greg? Yeah, you, you ready? No, I'm not ready. Well, you, you gotta take him if you can. Well, he's on that single if he gets him. In here. Yep, yep, yep. Unlike a lot of other parts of the country where folks are uh, used to puddle duck hunting, the biggest attraction is going after the uh, sea ducks. Uh, so you're talking open bays, uh, deep water hunting where you got to put uh, long lines of decoys uh, in very deep water and you got to deal with tides and, uh, and strong currents. Uh, and a lot of folks that come here from other parts of the country find it very uh, interesting. Nice shot. Good shot. Was that be, fun or what? Huh? That was awesome. That was awesome. It might be years before you have another hunt like that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We started with... Uh, Eiders this morning on, on the layout. Uh, I told you guys I knew a place, a little hidden place where there's a lot of bluebills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of an understatement. <laughs> it's a bit of an understatement, Ruben. Of, of, well, they're still piling in here as yeah. we stand here yeah. talking like fools. Yeah, what I'd like to do is come back and do this again tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Unless you guys didn't think that was fun. What do you think? No, we better come back. We better come back. <laughs> that's a nice bull. Look at this. Andy. Andy. You got a pretty bird, bird right there. Beautiful bird. Got the tuft up there going up. Well, I'll tell you what. Look at that. 